shit, that scared me. Dude. Good God. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. And uh, in this episode, we are going to start off by getting ourselves a chicken, maybe. Um, maybe our spikes got him. Anyway, um, yeah, so I spent all of day 27 uh, basically just working, mining, cutting down trees, making spikes because the screamers are just an incessant issue here. And so I'm just decided, well, all right, I'm gonna just set up a shit ton of spikes and let the spikes take care of the screamies, which they do a pretty damn good job of doing. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing here. We don't really have any reason to go um, inside there. I did shore the place up a little while ago. You can see that I put concrete uh, in some places. So I'm pretty, Pretty confident that our building's okay. I didn't, you know, completely repair it, of course, but the most important spots I did. And we might actually take some of these spikes or keep some of these spikes with us too and start using them out in the field. So, yeah, so I basically have three rows of spikes now uh, surrounding the base. I have mined up... Uh, multiple full stacks of iron. Um, so I've, I still have uh, almost two full stacks in there and I've been smelting uh, iron in here and then making steel. Uh, so we have... Let's see, what do we got? Okay, so we have 141 steel. I didn't quite get everything upgraded on the base that I wanted to, but I got the most important uh, stuff upgraded. And we just need to make sure we have enough steel and concrete for repair purposes. Um, and we'll take go over there and take a quick look at what I have uh, got done on the base there. Yes, we are keeping feathers in here. Um, I am. I, I wanted to start a second forge because, I mean, it's just perpetually hot around here anyway, so I don't think it's going to make much difference. The screamers come, from what I understand, the screamers come, and then, you know, you fight them off or... You go away and they disappear, and then you have like a 15-minute grace period before the next batch comes. So I don't, at this point, I don't think adding more heat is going to change that. They're going to come in regardless. Uh, but the problem is that I am, you know, I have duct tape uh, or this stuff to make duct tape, and I keep having to use water to make glue, which I really don't want to do. I want to save the water for food and stuff like that. So well, let's put you in there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, do this quest for Wrecked, and then when we turn it in, I'm going to either buy glue or duct tape or repair kits, whatever he happens to have. Um, and hopefully we'll you know find some of those materials while we're out and about as well. As far as munitions go, we, we, we have 129, if we count those, pipe bombs. Uh, so between that and shotgun... Uh, our shotgun, that's my plan for most most of our damage. We'll do a little bit of melee and stuff, too, as needed. But uh, that's the plan for that. All right, let's put you uh, black, black strap back in there. And I cut all of m my entire forest down. And so all the trees you see there are new trees that I planted. And there's even more than there, you know, than there was before. So this is all the oak forest over here. This is all the pine forest way over there. Let's go over and take a quick look at the, the Horde base. Um, I only made one change to it, and I'll show you what that change is. Otherwise, everything has just been repaired and upgraded. So we upgraded the, the lower portion here, and I have concrete blocks underneath the tower too, not just on the side of it. And then we put concrete all around it because there was some damage down there. Um, I upgraded these first three front blocks to steel and the second block all the way around to steel because that's the one that takes the most damage. And also the ladders up to the first two rang rungs and then the last two rungs as well as the steel 
uh, is also, oh, I guess I, we need to do that one too, is upgraded to steel. In addition to these two blocks, these two blocks, and these blocks right here. Uh, what I did differently is I added a hatch in there because we were having some trouble, if you remember, on Horde 21, throwing, uh, you know, pipe bombs, molotovs, and whatnot through there. So I cut that out and put a hatch in there instead uh, to make that process uh, work better for us. Everything that was cobblestone is now upgraded to concrete as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for our changes to the Horde base. That's all concrete now, as is the entire cage. Oh, we have some points too. Um, do I have any challenges? No challenges, but we do have we have two points. We're gonna put one of those in demolitions, and we're gonna put one of those in dead eye. There we go. Okay, so that'll make us stronger uh, on the horde night. We now do 30% damage increase and 33% chance to cripple enemies, and a 20% greater chance. To dismember the other stuff doesn't really count for um, you know grenades and pipe bombs uh, we might graduate to grenades like for the next horde night uh, but they're quite a bit more expensive to make than pipe bombs so we'll, we'll just kind of play that one by ear how am I doing on food yeah we can probably go ahead and do this next um, quest and maybe we'll even find a little bit of food whilst we're doing it so this is a retrieve the supplies quest from some place that the name, anyways, I didn't recognize, but I might recognize the POI. We'll see. It's this house right over here. Yes, I do recognize this house. Um, this is the one. Oh, and I did. Uh, make a yellow shotgun. I decided to do that since we had a few extra parts. Um, I believe this is the one where if you just kind of dig right down there, you'll get right to the to the loot. But of course, we won't do that. Um, that's already been looted. We do have some resources here, though, that we could do. I've also uh, upgraded to a blue iron uh, pick and shovel. Didn't there used to be a concrete mixer down there? I don't see it now. Grab that stone. I think, I think that's just going to be sand. Let's keep this on our toolbar. And we'll poke our head in here real quick. I don't know if there's zombies in here or not. There's a, is that a chicken? Yep, there's a chicken in here. Okay. Take the plastic. Oh shit! Get out of here. That's it. Anything back here? Dog? Oh, shit. That scared me. <laughs> I was looking for a dog, and then all of a sudden the zombie does their little scary noise. Well, there's a dog house, but there's no dog, fortunately. Trap magazine. Um, this steel axe is awesome, man. Loving it. Grab that. I'm hoping, really hoping, that we will be, uh, be able to have a mini bike this next uh, week. Okay, that's enough pre-looting, he says as he continues to pre-loot. Well, that was actually more like pre, pre-harvest, not pre-loot. Let's check you. 
Uh, learn to craft. Oh, nice. That's going to give us better barter. Okay. Um, we need testosterone for that. And I might actually have some. I'm not sure if I do or not, actually. Yeah, we need testosterone. There aren't any bears around here. So we'll we'll figure that one out. Uh, and that isn't, you know, assuming I don't have some, I might actually have some from just from loot. I don't know. Oh, none of this reset. Okay, I guess this is kind of a little standalone POI. Possible Zombo in that closet. Or around that corner. I'd like to close this door if we can. Hit the door. Oh, shit. Both of my other go-to weapons were not loaded. We must have... Must have killed that um, soldier. One shot at him. Nice. Oh, there's a satchel. All right, we're done. <laughs> Loot all of these. What are those nerd boots? Safe fall distance. Okay, I already have nerd boots, and I think they are also orange, so we'll just scrap those for parts. Oh, we're getting parts there. Let's just do that right now. Um, do we have plastic in our inventory? No, I put it in the thingy. Okay, let's uh, open this guy up. Armor magazine. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of resource looting this time. Let's just move through the POI. Let's just temporarily block that to buy ourselves a couple of seconds if we need it. There's a jig. Oh, you know something else too. I can make steel arrows now. I just need to do that but I think we'll wait until after horde night so we have enough steel and then I'll do that later okay we need to go up or down let's pick that stuff up where'd that come from in in here right okay it's a hazmat guy Brew. Question is, is he a feral hazmat or a normal hazmat? Let's block the door and find out. He's a normal. Okay. There's some glue. That's what we're looking for. All right, let's go into here. Are we supposed to go out this way? Maybe so. Grab those things. All right, let's um, 
And before we do that, let's go up this way first. And I'm going to take another bandage because we're still pretty banged up here. Everybody's loaded, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's the same. That's the same deal. Okay. Strengthen that door. Already we got... Okay, I don't see anything going on over here. Okay, I'm just... I'm being extra careful because we're kind of hurt. Alright. Uh, grab this quick. That military guy does a lot of damage. Got Jiggly. Tough. Not tough enough, though. Uh, no, let's take this apart. And since I'm swinging the axe, we'll take this apart, too. So that was just the other way to get up here. That's it. Okay. Well, we didn't actually really need to do that, but we did it. Downstairs we go. I see a hazmat. Could be zombies in there too. Let's see if we can see anybody in through here that we can get a good shot off on. All right, nobody's in that closet. I'm not spotting any Zikaroos. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I think we're clear. We'll sell that. Okay, let's poke our head in here. Okay, I think this room's clear. stuff and harvest this for leather okay can we put a thing here if we need to not ideally I mean, unless somebody comes popping through the ceiling or we fall through the floor. Oh, they're there. Okay. Okay, I think 
think we killed the one. And are we just talking about one zombie doodle here? Yeah, just skater punk. Well, now two. Okay, let's get this upgraded since we have two of them now. Takes care of them. Another door here. Uh, no, we're not going to take that. Um, let's let's not open that unless we get into an emergency, just because. We had that wandering, well, we've had a wandering horde show up twice now in the last few episodes, and, and it's not been a good situation, so I'm not going to let them just walk right through the door. Lamb cuts. Okay, we want to save those for shepherd's pie. Uh, we'll eat this right now. Give us a little food and health back, but also make us a little thirsty, but that's all right. Take two potatoes. You betcha. You betcha we will. Um, okay. Guess we already looked in there. We didn't look in here. Yeah, we'll take the bones. Chili dogs. All right, nice. Okay, let's, um, before we proceed... I want to go drop some stuff off in our little drop chest. Down into the deep, dark basement. What kind of shenanigans are going to happen down here? Possible Zeke in there. This isn't one of those places where they pop out of the projector screen, is it? No, guess not. It's a plug there. That seems to go into another room. Okay, let's drop that there. pretty good stuff. Harvest this couch. Oh shit, that scared me. Dude. Good God. <laughs> Okay, we're awake now. Um, all right, that door's locked. Let's just poke our head in here. Fucker scared the hell out of me, man. Possible roof shenanigans? No, it's not high enough. Unless it's a crawler. All right, before we go over there, let's check this box. Purple dye. There's something in here. I don't, I don't know. Yep, there sure was. It's hard to see. I don't want any of that stuff. Okay, so, um, let's just go this way. There's no, there's no door here, though. 
So you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to just block this. And look at that. All right. Let's put a hatch down. Okay, what's going on? Right. Just an egger. Not even a feral egger, just an egger egger. Okay. Uh, oh. Forgot this door was locked. It's gonna leave it there for extra oomph, but got some cement there. That's good. Let's grab this. No bones about it. Armor parts, nice. What's this? That's sand. Well, that gives us paper. Uh, I don't want the sand. Let's repair you and then chuck you. And we'll get that cement. We're in the loot room, but I see another Zom. It looks like it's a skater punk. So why don't we rinse and repeat? We'll just shoot him and then go back through the door there. Let's also give him a little bit of spike action here. Oops. This thing packs a punch, man. Do the spikes kill the other ones? I'm going to say probably because I don't hear them. They'd be making noise. We must have one shot Skater Punk. I'm going to assume we're done in here. It's probably a way out. Okay. Let's check around back here first. Everything's clear there. Look at that. That's some good stuff. We'll take it. Steroids. Take those two things. Come on, car magazines. Damn it, Jim. All right. Wiring and uh, robotics or trap or whatever it was. Okay, let's open this. Nerd gloves, intellect weapon damage. Okay, well, you definitely would want those if you were doing stun baton. And those will go there, and we'll take all the rest of that. And some food to boot. Ravioli, we want to save that for spaghetti. Grab you. Uh, I'm not going to grab you. And we'll get the cement. I guess we have to dig our way out. All right, Rectum, what you got for us, buddy? Yeah, I'd shake your hand, but I bet you got dysentery the way you smell. Well, uh, 
This would be nice, but we have, I think we have plenty of steel for Horde Knight. I think I'd rather do this for the chance of getting some more vehicle magazines. All right. Um, let's take the next job from you. We've got to f fetch to the southwest. That's probably out of town. In fact, all of these appear to be out of town. Um, so let's go back to previous tier. Listen What's up, this? Jackass. You want yeah, let's work? do working stiff. Show. Don't just stand there with your thumb up your ass. Get unless you're paying. Oh. <laughs> Some days I don't Let's even know those. why I open the doors. You want something? I'm not gonna um fix these up. I, I don't want to burn a repair kit on that. A sale is a sale, even if it is to a scumbag like you. All right, what do we got in here? Damn, no vehicles. Rich quality four, nice. Okay. And hunting rifle quality two, but that doesn't matter now. It's going to be a long time before we craft a hunting rifle down, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, when do you reset? Well, day thirty-one. To show their face again. He may have reset. Okay, he's got two vehicle books. If right. you don't like my food, you can always go dumpster diving. Let's buy those. You want something? Oh, be careful out there. Coins in the bike. You wouldn't want to to show their face again. Okay, so that gives us two vehicles. Um, explosives, armor, shotgun weekly. What do you got for weaponry? Got a pump shotgun. Oh, I want that. <laughs> I really want that. Uh, but we don't have enough money for it. Okay, well, he'll have this till day 31. So uh, I think we're going to work towards this because this is going to be significantly better than this guy. Uh, and it's not as expensive as the rifle was. Um, so that, yeah, that is our, our next goal. What do you have for tools? You got an impact driver. That's nice. Oh, and a steel shovel. But we don't really need that right now. It'd be nice to have, but we don't need it. This could be useful, but I, I think I'd rather have the shotgun before that. Um, Look at what else he's got. He's got a stoke right there, but we can make one. Oh, do you have testosterone? I don't think the traders carry that. I think you have to get it from killing a bear. All right. He's got these. Oh, these things are so expensive. It's unbelievably expensive. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and read that. Get out of my store. And we are th three points away from being able to make the mini bike, I think. Yes, three points. Okay, cool. So, with a little bit of luck, we should be able to get that next week all right guys uh, i'm gonna go home grab all my stuff get ready to go and we will start horde at night 28 here in just a little bit don't go away okay guys we're about ready to start horde night 28 um so this is that hatch that i that i added i don't know if i showed you guys that earlier or not i think i did actually um, so yeah, we have, this is what we have. We got 129 bite bombs. No, 109. Sorry. Yeah. 109 pipe bombs. No, 129. Yeah, we do. Okay. So we got those and, um, let's go ahead and, and eat the stew and the tea right now and get that going. As soon as it turns night though, on my, I'll become encumbered because, uh, we read that book. And I don't, we don't really actually have anything that needs cobblestone, but I brought it anyways. We got 800 concrete, 300 iron, 412 forged steel for repairing. I have four repair kits. We have two extra stacks of bandages and all the other medical. I did go ahead and make a steel arrows as well. So here we go. Let's see how this, let's see how this turns out. I mean, it could go south on us. It really could. <laughs> 
we'll have to wait and see what happens. Cops are already spitting. Okay. Uh, we are almost to the next level, too. If you look on my toolbar, you can see that we're really close there. Light him up. Right in the cop's face. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Let's throw one down that way. Oh, it's just going to get caught right on him. Oh, that was perfect. That was amazing. It kind of gets gets caught on them as they're coming up the ladder. That one's going to go down all the way. Okay, well, halfway down anyway. Almost works better just throwing them from back here. Well, I guess they can get through if they don't have any limbs. That's interesting. Missed. That one missed too. Didn't look like it did. All right, make sure, make sure we get that right through the middle. Oh yeah, that worked wonderfully. Son of a bitch. Um, does this work for dousing? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't, and we just wasted our honey. All right, well, let's take one of those. Okay, so I guess we can't rely upon Molotovs through the hatch. We can still do it this way, though. That kind of hurt. Pipe bombs work beautifully through the hatch, though. I like how it, again, you know, how the pipes bombs just kind of stay with them. It doesn't just, <laughs> it doesn't just fall through. Nice. I'm really uh, digging this design, you guys. I have to say, it's impressive. Seems to work very well. Night's not over, though. We'll see what happens. You know, I forgot to look for Atom Junkies. I should have done that. Oh, well. Try and get some of those for next time. Right. Throw a couple right through there. Oh, that one went way off to the other front there. Let's, I, I'm pretty sure we're in pretty damn good shape, but let's just top off here. I was taking a little bit of damage. Okay. Don't have a ton of Molotovs. They're just so expensive to make. Won't be so bad once we can make gasoline, but we're, you know, we can't do that yet, so. I hear dogs down below. Hopefully the bombs will help control them a little bit. I like how the explosion goes all the way across, too, so very effective. I really wish we could get those bags. I heard there was a mod that you could install that makes the bags last like 60 minutes or 30 minutes or something. 
That would be something I would actually consider installing, even though this is a vanilla series. First bird. Alright, there is a dire wolf down there, and he's attacking the tower. Uh, can't really quite see him. There's dogs down there, too. Beautiful. All right, let's just do a quick check here. These guys can't hit me even when, when I'm crouched. It's taking a little bit of damage, isn't it? Let's get that topped off. our next point and I hear a buzzard somewhere Don't see it all right well we'll worry about it later I guess there he is Get out of here. That's the beauty of pipe bombs, though. They're so cheap that you can just make a shit out of them and kind of keep throwing them almost all night, you know? I don't have an, enough tonight to throw them all night, but I'll certainly get there. Wish I could get to those dogs a little bit better. Sounds like that bomb just got one. I heard a yelp. You know, we can actually shoot through here. Now that I think about it. Okay. bit of shotgun work. We'll save some of our explosives for later. The nice thing about this design too is they they basically push each other off and so they can't just stand there and perpetually beat on stuff. Let's check this. I'm still kind of hurt from that getting caught on fire earlier. Grab the bag. Couldn't get to it. <laughs> it's still there, but if I get too close, they're going to tag me. Aha, uh -huh, you can't spit through that. Very nice. 
Got him right off the middle of the ladder there. Okay, let's do a top off here. No spitting copper. Oh, right in the face. I didn't even see that one coming until it was already out of his mouth. Gross. Got the cop. Well, that dire wolf's back down there again doing his thing. Okay, we have a little less than two stacks of bombs left. It's 1.30 in the morning, a little past. Oh, that was a good one. These guys really move fast when they're crawling. Get out of here. This is my space, not yours. Okay, let's top off and we have a tiny little reprieve here. Everything else is looking pretty damn good. No middle of a whole bunch of them off the middle of the oh shit <laughs> of the ladder there oh they broke that same ladder again alright we're going to have to take the steel. Oh, we've got actually two broken ladders. Okay, so the goal for the next Horde Knight, if we use this base again, is to get all the ladders upgraded to steel. Or at least those, you know, the ones in that particular area, because those seem to be the ones that they're doing the most damage on. Fortunately, with one ladder broken though they can still get up if they did a if they broke two gaps then then they wouldn't be able to oh that was a nice one there got a good bang for our buck on that one Last Molotov. Edgar, get out of here. All right, last pipe bomb. Get 
kill lumberjack zombies is complete. Wow. I didn't know we've killed that many Larrys so far. This rifle is powerful, man. <laughs> it really packs a punch. Five more seconds. Well, minutes, but mostly seconds. A little more than five seconds. And it's morning. Oh my goodness, that went well. Very well. So we'll just clean up the trash here and then we'll go down and get as many bags as we can. So next horde night, just a shit ton of pipe bombs and so we can just throw them all night long. And I'll have that, should have that pump shotgun too, if not something better. Because the shotgun works pretty good too, it's just the double barrel, you gotta reload it so much, you know? Still have combat music. Okay, he was down there. Okay, let's get down there. Whatever is left is not uh, going to be, shouldn't be too terribly difficult to dispatch, uh, unless it's one of those guys. Shit. Let's go back up this way. Got him. Okay. And it looks like we just have a couple of crippled Zeeks. Let's grab this now. All right. I'll look at whatever uh, that was in a minute. Shit, bags are disappearing. Okay, grab the blue ones first. Okay, I think that's all the blue ones. Um, sniper, zooming 15 less stamina. Nice. Okay, let's quickly... Craft a storage crate. I'm not even looking for now. Let's just grab it and we'll look at it later. get for harvesting this guy anything special no just the usual okay uh all right i think that's i think that's it for the bags tools digest we can now make steel tools quality tool i just don't have the steel parts uh weapon flashlight mod schematic tripod schematic what's this a raider outfit okay uh, two trap magazines. And then here we have Enforcer High Power 44 Magnum Ammo. 
four salvage tool. Wrench quality five, nice. Two handguns. Pistol quality three, which is what we currently have. Two explosives. Two rifle. Hunting rifle three. Lucky looter. Find more ammunition and loot. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Two armor crafting. And, um... 20% more arrows. Oh, yeah. Recover more arrows. Good. That's a good one. And, oh, good. Oh, shit. I, damn it. I should have realized I had this. Ah, oh, nuts. Okay, well, we have it now. <laughs> if you wear this, you have a, a, a chance of getting an extra skill point when you read the magazines. Ah. Really? A running horde? Come on. Game Horde Night just finished. Don't be doing that to me. Alright, let's just let them do their thing. Um, yeah. So, that we don't give a shit about. But the rest of this pretty good stuff. Um, so, all in all, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that was a successful Horde Night. I don't want to encumber myself we also got two points I think did everybody else move on through they're probably just right on the other side of the oil tank thingy Just gonna throw whatever in here. Can we get all of that? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, let's inspect. <laughs> what a shot. <laughs> Big mama. At the attention of a spider. Okay, let's take a look at things down here. So, do we even have? Do we have any broken blocks? Like completely broken? No. We don't. That one's definitely got some damage on it, but it held up all night. We got a couple things out here, but who cares about that? I might extend this concrete out later. The ladders down here are in pretty damn good shape, really. Um, <coughs> I wonder what it is about this particular spot. You know, this upper spot. Not really sure, but we will definitely have these ladders upgraded to steel for the next Horde Night. But the base held up very well. Um, there's not, a, you know, other than upgrading the ladders and, you know, maybe getting all that up to concrete just for the hell of it, I suppose. And extending this out, there's not really much else we need to do. I think it works really, really well. Uh, okay, so. Let's go. What in the hell is this? How did that even get there? I don't know. I have no idea how that would have gotten there. That's weird. Yeah, there's still probably a couple of Zeeks over there, but I'm not going to worry about them. Let's take a look at our points before we wrap things up here. I am really pleased with this base, though, you guys. Very pleased with it. Um. Okay, so let's see. We have three available points. Um... Let's take, definitely put another point in Penetrator. And another point in Lucky. I, I think maybe, you know, I mean, I have been focusing on Strength and kind of Perception. I wouldn't mind getting this up a little more, too. But I think for the rest of these points, um, let's just do Lucky. 
one of the th and I've mentioned this before. One of the things I really like about Lucky as a YouTuber is it lets me loot faster. So, you know, I'm not sitting there. I, I try and edit some of that out too in my videos, but uh, the faster I loot, the better it is for you guys, right? Um, so, and we could even take that to four. Can we take this to four? No, we can't take that to four yet, nor that. Um, salvage ops. Yeah, let, what the hell? Let's take this to four. Okay, so that means we have 20% uh, to our loot bonus and we can loot 60% faster. I have Lucky Looter 5 on multiplayer and it's just, it's so nice, you know, to be able to open stuff quickly. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll stay in the perception tree. I'd like to get uh, this up to four by the next Horde Night. Um, if not, you know, all the way up. Something we could consider too, if we got a little bit better quality headgear, is the perception. Uh, what you know, the little plug-in thing that gives you plus one perception. I don't know what they're actually called, but they're like implants or something, right? All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And when we come back in the next episode, we'll get back to trying to get the rest of these POIs cleared out of this town so we can start thinking about moving to the desert. See ya.